It's day four on the Wonder of the Seas, and we are in Cozumel today. Is there anything to do in Cozumel without a shore excursion? And did we find a new place to enjoy here on the Wonder? Plus, are the highly recommended shows really worth it? Let's get started. And room service has arrived. Today I just did cold uh, foods, donuts, bagels, yogurt, and fruit platter. All of this is complimentary, so you don't have to worry about paying the $8 if you just order anything from the menu that's cold items. All right, I'm going to sit here and eat my yogurt and fruit out here on the balcony. We just finished breakfast and came out here to the deck, and I see it's pretty empty. There's a few people swimming in some of the pools out here, and I thought, oh, well, maybe most people are already gone into Cozumel. And then I passed by Windjammer. Everybody's in Windjammer right now. So that's pretty much where everybody is. If they're not in Cozumel, they're over in Windjammer right now. But it is pretty empty out here. So I'm wondering, should I just go and play in the pool for a little bit? Cause you see this pool over here, it's open. And then the children's pool is open. There's another pool around the other side, it's open. So, and it's very few people in all of them. So it's like, should I go swimming and just enjoy the open pools or go ahead and get off and go to Cozumel? What would you do? All right, we're headed to the gangway now. I opted to go to the port before we go and sit and relax at the pool. So let's go see what we can do at the port. Y'all, of course, he had to find the candy store out here. <laughs> no candy there, and not sure, but those prices were pretty high, and they were U.S. prices, and they seemed like they were higher than what we would have paid in the U.S. for just a bag of suckers. <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't buy stuff like that at the port. $17 for a bag of suckers? Yeah, I would have been a sucker if I bought it, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Everything is uh, overpriced out here, but it's nice to walk around and enjoy. Plus, if you do see something before you like, just go out in town. That's true, because if you walk just out in town or take a taxi out in town, just walk across the street, just walk across the street it, it is going to be a little cheaper just across the street. Um, right here in the port, when you are still in the terminal, like it, is, it is a lot more expensive. It's touristy, and yeah, they're going to... They're gonna try to charge you more. Hey babe, I think we should make a game out of this. Like, how many people do we say no thanks to? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we get when we're heading back, we'll do that. I mean, like every time I turn around, no, thank you, I'm good. <laughs> Once we're ready to head back to the ship, we'll figure we'll uh, start we'll start the count. Start counting. <laughs> how many times? How many times can we be offered tequila? <laughs> or makeup. Or makeup. Yeah, that's what that lady was trying to offer me just now was uh, a a makeup thing. I don't know. But how many times can we be offered that? <laughs> Hey, we should have brought our swimsuits. Look, you can actually go swimming over here. Look, you can go swimming over here. You got the boat right there. I know, but you could go swimming in the in the, the Mexican waters. I know, I'm saying. Our swimsuits are right there. So you want to go back and get our swimsuits and come just swim right here on the rocks? I don't want to swim on the rocks. <laughs> I don't know. I think by the time I get back on the boat. Oh yeah, I want to come back. Out. I don't think I would want to come back out here. It's hot out here. <laughs> But hey, tip if you want to come. Tip if you want to come out here. And you just want to grab you some lunch and tequila shots. You can go swimming right there and then head back to the ship. That's not a bad idea. I wish I had known that. I didn't realize they had a little swimming port right there. So we came back from the port and I decided to go to the cafe Promenade to grab me a sandwich. I got me a tuna sandwich uh, with some pesto. And I just really enjoyed walking around the promenade because it was pretty much, it was empty almost. And it was just really nice to walk around. It doesn't feel like a cruise ship. It feels like you're, you know, in a town on a, in a, or in a building or something. It does not feel like you're in a cruise ship when you're walking on the promenade. It is, I really enjoy it. It is so beautiful. And I just love the shops and how it looks through there. 
right now as you see I am in the solarium and it's pretty much empty through here as well and I got me a little pod right here looking out at the ocean so not gonna promise you that I might not fall asleep <laughs> but right here behind me is the pool and there's lots of spaces to just sit and lounge in the pool so I'll probably head over there to the pool in just a few minutes but just truly relaxing and enjoying the afternoon do you like to get back on the ship as soon as you can so that you can find a space to just sit and relax when you're at a port day so we discovered the music hall here on deck nine and ten it's two decks it's two stories tall and we did not notice this was on deck nine not too far from our room it's a great place to sit and lounge they do have music live music playing in here um, some of the nights and of course when we came up to the second floor of the music hall we saw the pool table we had to just come in here and play now both of us are a little rusty, <laughs> probably me more so than him, <laughs> as you can see here. It's been about maybe 15 to 20 years since we have played pool, but we really enjoyed it. This is a great bar area to come and relax. There's a bar upstairs and downstairs. And even though we're both a little rusty, I won one game and he won one game. So lots of fun. Y'all, it's been 30 minutes and we should have left. Or we're still sitting here at Cosmo. I don't see any pier runners. And I'm a little disappointed. I mean, why come to Cosmo if there's not gonna be any pier runners? I mean, that's the joy of coming to Cosmo, right? So we just got back from Studio B and we saw the 365 Seasons on Ice. That was a really great show. If you like ice dancing and a, just a fun ice show, figure skating and some great music, that's definitely a show that I recommend. It was, I enjoyed it. I think my husband was like, eh. Uh, figure skating is not his thing but it was a great show I enjoyed it and I thought they had some great dancing and some great figure skating and just some really great music all throughout the show so I really enjoyed it it's there in Studio B um, on deck four so we do have a little bit of time in between our next show our next show is going to be over in the Royal Theater and we're seeing voices tonight so I'm not sure what we're gonna do maybe go get a drink before headed over to Royal Theater y'all look at this moon tonight it is absolutely gorgeous I had to just come stand out here on my balcony this evening and just enjoy the breeze and this beautiful moon before we head down to the Royal Theater so we went to voices at the the Royal Theater and I really enjoyed it. It is it is a singing show all the way through singing and dancing. Um, they did different uh, types of singing from different decades, inspirational songs, uh, songs of invention. They had like little quotes up at the top on the screen. It was a really great show. I like the choreography of the dancing and the songs were great songs. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It is highly recommended type show to go and see. So if you're on the Wonder of the Seas, I do recommend going to see Voices. Now, when we were done with Voices, we were told that the 80s night was going to be in the promenade. So we went and rocked out to the 80s uh, rock party on the promenade and it was a lot of fun. But as you see, there were so many people all packed in here on the promenade. So no, I did not go right there where all those people were. I'm too claustrophobic for that. I sat in the little bar called Rising Tide that goes from the fifth floor all the way up to the eighth floor and it, it was it stayed there the whole time on the fifth floor while the party was going on so we got us a drink sat there and enjoyed the party and after the party was over it rised up to the eighth floor which is where central park is and it was really kind of fun and nice it only takes about maybe seven ten minutes to rise from the fifth floor to the eighth floor so it's not it's not a very long process and every 30 minutes is when they said they will you know go back and forth so you can get on from the eighth floor in central park or you can get on from the fifth floor on the promenade so that was a lot of fun just going and sitting at that little bar that you know goes up and down but we did enjoy the 80s rock park Party from the rising tide bar so that was a lot of fun just sitting there and it was open and not crowded but it was a lot of fun to enjoy now we did enjoy all of that this evening and finishing everything out I went to the promenade got me some pizza and brought it back to the room 
and I'm gonna eat a little bit of pizza and I'm going to crash. It has been a long day. We've done a lot of stuff today and tomorrow is Roatan. So I will see you tomorrow in Roatan. Bye for now.